Well, Gloucester, uh, as a software-only uh, storage provider, takes the best thing about the appliance, the NAS appliance that we've all kind of grown to love over the years as a hardware appliance, and we take that appliance and we make it a software appliance. So in doing so, what that means is you can now deploy software on any commodity hardware in a data center, and you can take that software and use it within a cloud environment as well. Like Amazon Web Services, we deploy an Amazon machine image with the Gluster NAS software in it, and we uh, attach elastic block storage on the back end, and now uh, users have a NAS file server in the cloud, and they can cluster it to larger extents as well. They can scale it out and build additional instances as clustered nodes within the Amazon Web Services environment, and they can also scale out storage capacity as well. So uh, what you have is this massively scalable NAS environment within the cloud. And the benefit here is really for users who've been trying to port their applications into the cloud for years and having to use object storage, or as also known as uh, Amazon S3, and that works, and it's good, but you have to modify your applications, and you have to keep modifying your applications over time to continue to use it. With NAS, if your applications use NAS today in the data center, now they can use NAS in the cloud. It's as simple as that. It's pretty easy. Would that encourage enterprises to move more storage it into does. the cloud? It does, yeah. In yeah. fact, at Citrix Synergy, just a few weeks ago at the Synergy Show, we won two awards. One was for accelerating cloud adoption, and one was for best of show. And, and that was essentially because of the technology we're deploying with our file system and global namespace capabilities that's truly global, not limited to a proximity or a metropolitan area. It is physically global and also includes uh, cloud NAS in the Amazon environment and NAS within your data center. You can actually put those both in the same global namespace and move files. Uh, so it's very simple, it's very easy to use, and uh, data center customers, uh, and we have examples of them in case studies uh, in process coming, uh, actually use this today to move their applications into the cloud and decommission the data center NAS appliances and move their application development now into the cloud as well. And they can application develop faster, they can innovate faster and bring products out to their customers. The old agility uh, word. Agility, right, <laughs> exactly. It's, so we're really a, an infrastructure enabler within the cloud. We enable users to deploy and leverage the infrastructure within Amazon and other cloud providers will announce soon uh, to their best advantage to innovate and bring new solutions to their customers. So what kind of clients do you have? Do you have hosting companies, cloud we providers, do. enterprises? We do. You know, within Amazon Web Services, we have a large and vast number of clients who use Amazon Web Services for their businesses. And, uh, and then uh, outside of Amazon Web Services, I can tell you in the private cloud, we have Pandora. Pandora is, is run on a cluster file system and commodity hardware, uh, and they've been able to uh, essentially corner the market on internet radio right, using right. our technology based on the architecture of our file system, which is extremely fast on finding files and delivering them to a server or you know, a client, uh, whatever that client may be. And so also another example is Brightcove. Brightcove is a uh, media serving company in the Cambridge or Boston area and they use Gluster uh, to host their media files, video files, and deliver those video files in rapid fashion. So, you know, and that's, you know, internet real-time speed, so you can understand from that perspective that we have a really super fast file system that's, that's used for real-time applications. And also, uh, you know, we, we, we consider it really a better way to do storage, right? Uh, hardware has been great over the years, now folks are moving to a more commoditized environment. They need to lower the cost to deploy IT. And then in the cloud, they need to actually have a capability that enables them to innovate faster and bring new uh, products to their clients. And that's really one of the benefits of cloud computing, being able to use that grid-like structure uh, to a business's best advantage. Thanks. Sure. Um, so Pleasure. is there anything, how would people find more information about Gluster? Oh, very easily. Just go to www.gluster.com and you'll find uh, all the information you need on our commercial products and we also support our open source uh, side of the house as well and that's www.gluster.org. We have a large community, we have a great community director on board named John Mark Walker 
who just came over from Splunk and he's building out our community uh, very nicely and we have lots of events coming up and we'll be at OzCon in July in Portland and we'll have events there. We'll also be involved with uh, Cloud Camp. We've been at three Cloud Camps so far this year uh, as recently as last night and we'll be at Cloud Camp again in Portland as well in July. Thank you. My pleasure.